Hookup culture refers to a societal trend where casual sexual encounters are viewed as acceptable and even expected among young adults. This culture is often associated with college campuses and involves engaging in sexual activity without the expectation of a committed relationship or emotional attachment. While hookup culture can be seen as liberating for some individuals who enjoy casual sex, it can also have negative consequences. Some people may feel pressured to engage in sexual activity to fit in or to avoid being stigmatized for not participating. Additionally, casual sex can lead to emotional distress, feelings of regret, and the risk of sexually transmitted infections or unintended pregnancy. Or even feeling used. Most of us cannot take part in hookup culture because we're just not wired that way. Especially women. I know we all like to think that we can do as men do, but the reality of the matter is women are emotionally wired, and we find it harder to detach after a sexual encounter than men do. Men can literally have a sexual encounter with a woman and forget it within half an hour. Here are four reasons why I think women shouldn't take part in hookup culture. Number 1. Emotional distress. Casual sex can sometimes lead to feelings of guilt, shame, or regret, particularly if it doesn't align with a woman's personal values or if she feels pressured into it. Number 2. Physical safety. Hookup culture can put women at risk for sexual assault, harassment, or other forms of violence. It's important for women to prioritize their safety and to communicate their boundaries clearly with sexual partners. Number 3. SDIs and unintended pregnancy. Engaging in casual sex without protection can increase the risk of sexually transmitted infections and unintended pregnancy. Number 4. Reinforcing gender stereotypes. Hookup culture can sometimes reinforce harmful gender stereotypes by promoting the idea that men are supposed to be sexually aggressive and women are supposed to be sexually passive. It's important for individuals to make informed decisions about their sexual behavior and to prioritize their own safety and well-being. This may involve setting clear boundaries, communicating openly with sexual partners, and practicing safe sex. It's also important for society to have open and honest conversations about sex and relationships, and to promote healthy and respectful attitudes towards sexuality. However, it's also important to be aware of the potential risks and negative consequences associated with hookup culture and to prioritize one's own safety and well being. And that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, comment down below telling me what you think, and also subscribe to the channel if you want to. I'll see you in my next one.